This part is the input. These two are safety filter components. This is a relay which can be used to restart after the rectifier bridge and then through three large capacitance filter. After filtering, it's boosted by PFC. This is a PFC boost inductor. After boosting, the PFC voltage is about from 420 to 450 or from 390 to 450 because the voltage is regulated by the software. The voltage of from 390 to 420 is measured on the large capacitor which indicates that the PFC circuit has been started normally. After the PFC is started, it's used as the input for the subsequent stage. These two are LLC transformers. These two are LLC push tubes. Push the LLC transformer through the push tube. After working, output voltage input to synchronous rectifier. The synchronous rectifier tube outputs a fixed voltage of 12 or 14.5. The output voltage and electric current are fed back to the subsequent control chip. The feedback control process is controlled by the programming chip. The feedback to the front control chip through the optocoupler. To control the adjustment of PWM wave, switching power supply is by controlling the length of the PWM wave. And these two, this is the PFC control circuit. This is the back end output control chip. This is the input electric current detection chip. This is the fan control circuit. This is a 12 volt 10 ampere transformer for the fan circuit. These are pre-drive optocouplers used to isolate the front and back stages. The front end is high voltage, so it must be isolated by optocoupler because the back end control circuit is the back end control chip part of the small board. Feedback to the pre-stage circuit through optocoupler. This part is the driver chip of the synchronous rectifier tube. The input voltage is rectified by the bridge stack to get a voltage of about 320 on the filter capacitor. The VCC circuit obtains the input voltage from the original 320 voltage through several resistors. The VCC control chip is on the front, covered by glue. The VCC chip controls the work of the transformer and outputs the VCC voltage of about 17. Several VCC voltages, 17, 15, 18, 5, are obtained through diode rectification. After the main control chip on the small boards gets the VCC voltage, 
it starts to work normally and drives the PFC circuit to work. Obtain a PFC output voltage of about 420 and the filter capacitor. The side with white circle is styled. One or three pins are its positive and negative holes, and the middle one is empty. The opposite side of the diode is the three pins of the triode. The measuring diode and transistor work, then the optocoupler works.